Now, this is the 2022 Huntsman World Senior Games. Tremendously run uh, organized games in St. George, Utah. There's a lot of maps with all the different venues. Tremendous uh, amount of work that goes into putting these games on every year. The Dixie Center is kind of the headquarters. St. George, Utah. Beautiful, beautiful country. All kinds of different events that are available for individuals to compete in. So you pretty much uh, can always find something that might be of interest to you. This is track and field. Uh, there's all kinds of events in the track and field race. Go, walk, John. You know, race yeah. walking, power walking, running. Uh, lots of opportunities. Uh, there's the shot put. First uh, lap. There's different running races, different age groups. Fast ones and uh, slow ones, and all for men and women. Just tremendous amount of uh, uh, competition from all over the country and other countries. There's a number of countries that compete. Uh, high jump. Uh, this is a 90-year-old doing the disc. So uh, uh, there's people in there. I got redefining aging. Had to get the shirt in there to show people uh, to help promote what we're trying to do right. which is John, redefining aging okay. we believe uh you know that if people maintain health and fitness uh they Bobby, will increase their uh, <laughs> quality of life uh there's all kinds of awards given uh usually uh, usually always down to i think sometimes to eighth place uh ribbons the top three get uh medals but it's really well organized. And I haven't coughed all afternoon, but now I I'm know. That's the 800. <laughs> I keep coughing. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So you're gonna pride me on what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll, awesome. I'll, and then I'll let you go after that. We're here at the 2022 Huntsman Masters World Senior Events, and with Sandra. And uh, you've obviously got one gold medal around your neck, and you probably, I understand, have done a lot more events. Tell us about the events you do and how maintaining your health and fitness has enhanced your quality of life. Some of those things we'd like to hear from you. Awesome. Well, actually, last year was my first year coming to the Senior Games. Um, I started out a little late, but... Uh, What's your age, if I'm um, 57. 57. Uh, okay. Five kids, eight grandkids. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so I came because I had a booth uh, in the Dixie Center, and then I thought, well, I'll just do a few events. And I looked at times, and I thought, well, I'm not going to be last so yeah. I got in the 10k and I ended up getting the gold <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> and then Look I was addicted that. so 10 yeah. I did seven events last year went away with wow. two golds and five silvers I love it. and so this year I'm in eight events I've got two more to go and I've got uh, five golds and one silver so far so That's amazing so 10k 5k I was on a team triathlon, so I did the run on Saturday. Oh, yeah. we did, I did the triathlon. And then I did the uh, trail run after that, the 5K trail run oh, in the heat God. of the day. <laughs> so Saturday was a was a hot day. That's and then amazing. And then the 1,500 yesterday, the 800 today, 3,400 tomorrow. Oh, my God. So You are a bitch. So <laughs> I'm loving this. This this crowd has so much energy to Isn't it. Isn't that true? They are so dang fun. Yeah. And seeing people out here with... 80 and 85 right. and 90 on their numbers. It's like, whoa! Yeah, yeah so we fun. We met a woman 100 in the yep. swim. Yep, I went and watched her swim. Yeah, just uh, amazing. I don't know what I'll be doing when I'm 100. Yeah, <laughs> we'll no. see. But, but that's, so, that's exciting. I mean, you're excited about having the ability to do these things. Yeah. And it's meant a lot to your quality of life, right? I mean, oh, absolutely. Shape. Absolutely. I want to stay in shape and do fun stuff with grandkids. And that's the point. And that's, uh, I like to trail run in the mountains with my, with my daughter and uh, oh, road bike, awesome. mountain bike. So bring it on. Who knows? Maybe when I'm 70, I'll try to swim and compete. We'll <laughs> see. <laughs> that's when she started. So well, I'm sure you'd be yeah. able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Really fun. And That's just great fantastic. people here. Isn't that something? Yeah. Tell me, uh, is there anything that is important, drives you, spiritual belief, anything that really is kind of uppermost <laughs> to get through crazy life we have? <laughs> well, actually, I wasn't involved in this at all. Um, my husband and I owned businesses, and we hiked and swam, and, well, he didn't like swimming. He watched that. But uh, 
we did a lot with our kids and three and a half years ago he got in an accident and was taken oh. and so I went back to what I like which is health and wellness and wow. traveling and meeting people so I know he's up there rooting me on yeah. and uh, that's that's why I got into health and wellness which led me here so wow. I train with B3 bands B3 sciences I got into that after he passed away and I absolutely love it it's yeah. it's like cheating the system so that's I cool. work out 20 minutes a day most days and then I go do longer stuff because it's so beautiful outside but and that's where do you live yeah northern Utah up in Providence oh, okay yeah that's, so it's so such a pretty area. Area. I mean, yeah, it's just amazing how beautiful Utah is. Yeah, it's pretty diverse. Yeah, you got it red is. rocks and we got snow and yeah and mountains and oh my god, yeah. I've been to the you know to the to the snow you know, <laughs> spots. Yeah, and it's, they're, they're absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it's fun to live here. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, so stay in shape, everybody. Yes, <laughs> you can come here and play. Yes, that's so important. And uh, your story, I hope, will motivate others. Yes, yes. Have to be <laughs> come, <laughs> come do it. <laughs> yes. It, just a tragedy that your that your husband passed away in a snowmobiling accident. Um, but just the fact that you have the confidence <laughs> that God is still sovereign; He's still in control. Uh, you don't like some things that happen, <laughs> and you don't know why they happen, yeah. but you know he's sovereign, and you know one day you'll see him, and you know that yep. Jesus Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but through me. No plan B. And so we just, <laughs> we're so encouraged that people that know our Savior, and like your husband, and that we... Uh, we wish we could make things different, <laughs> but but you've you've adjusted, and you know, yeah. just, God has given you a sense of peace. I can tell it. I I can see it in your yeah. face. Yeah. But well, you know, has that been something you've been able to communicate to others? You know. Yes. Yes. It's it's so crazy how I I don't like that W word. It's taken me a while yeah. to even say widow, but. Um, I have been able to be a strength to those around that are in my same boat, but, um, you know, I was sharing that I think God and my husband had a chit chat and I wasn't invited to that meeting and I have questions when I get to the other side, but I tell, I tell people everybody has a grieving story. If you don't, just wait, you know, we're here to learn and grow and develop what God gave us. And, and I say, I'm so thankful that I got married and had kids and grandkids and, and that's part of my life. But, but also, um, just knowing that he's gone, but I'm still here and I still have a purpose and, and I need to fulfill my my purpose also yes. That, that yes we were a team and we're still a team we're just yes. in different realms for a while and that's so true. That's yes true. and I say amen to everything you said amen. <laughs> yeah well, that's exciting and yeah we're gonna keep you on our prayer <laughs> well thank you thank you yeah open doors for your you know, yeah I'll, I'll tell you one more funny story on camera and um, when we got married he was a world champion hill climber snowmobile hill climber and I ran for a university and so our wedding cake was actually a track with a mountain in the middle with a snowmobile on the mountain <laughs> and and then we had the pretty one for my mom <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah we competed uh, at, at separate events for quite a while and That's then amazing. raised our kids and did some amazing business opportunities together and That's and exciting. we lived Three lives in our one life together. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And yeah. obviously, well, it's such a shame that snowmobiling took his life, but yet yeah. it was a passion. Yeah, 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 it was. And we we did some awesome rides snowmobiling. We got I some bet. some some wonderful activities. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I've turned back to my roots, and I'm back on the track. <laughs> And you'd encourage others to yeah. get out here as well. Yeah, uh, my friend that I'm running against uh, this year, I shared my story with her last year and she came up and said she lost her husband in August. Oh. So I've been able to, to give her some advice and suggestions. And oh, yeah. yeah, so you never know who you're going to touch or affect. It's, that's right. It's, uh, that's right. It's a big world out there. It is. Yeah. That's exciting, though. I, I just am thankful that uh, we're able to yeah. hear your story and yes. encourage others. There might, who knows how many widows might, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, reach out if you have a question. <laughs> if I don't have the answer, I'm sure I can think of somebody that does. <laughs> yeah. Well, God bless. Well, thank you.
want to thank you for watching RedefiningAging.us. I'm John Disterdick, your host. And our goal for the series is pretty simple. We just want to enhance the quality of people's lives. So if you know of an event that you think would uh, be one for good, uh, good for us to cover, please fill out the form on our website and not only the event and what it is, where it is, when it is, and uh, if there's a person you know that you think would be uh, a good person for me, us to do a testimony on in some event, please let us know. And if you want a fuller description of my testimony, you can either go to johndisterdick.com and look under ministry, or you can go here at redefiningaging.us. We appreciate your viewership. God bless, and hope to see you on more shows. Thank you.